All right. Back again. Scam podcast. Week 13 NFL picks. I know we had two weeks off of the NFL picks because of the Thanksgiving holiday, but we are back. And we're ready to pick to some lose, winners. Bro. I'm giving it out for free. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Michael's had a few rough ones. I had a rough one last week, too, but we're going to bounce back. you want to lose, and I got you. <laughs> like I said, even if Malcolm's picks aren't winning, now you just know to bet against it, you know? Exactly. They're giving you the winners in inadvertent ways, you know? So I have some winners. Unlike Malcolm, I have some winners this week. I'm ready to make my picks. Um, as you can see, we have no guests this week. We kind of threw I mean, together the last second. You know, I feel like we get a mulligan on this season because, you know, the fucking Broncos are playing without a quarterback. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's like, what are the odds of that even happening? Not saying I was picking the Broncos, but, you know, you get the gist of it. Yeah. We also have two Monday night games and a Tuesday night game coming this weekend. So The NFL uh, refuses to cancel games. No. You know, it's funny. The, someone went over it on Twitter. On Wednesday when the, um, the Ravens and Steelers played a game, it was the first Wednesday all year long there wasn't a positive test. <laughs> But magically, on Wednesday, they're like, no positive test, game on. So <laughs> it would be bad PR. Yeah. What's funny is I didn't even know that game took place. Who won it? <laughs> uh, the Steelers won because the Ravens didn't have their quarterback or two running backs. <laughs> so Jesus. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. What the fuck? Like, actually, last week, you actually picked the, before the news came out about the Broncos quarterback. You had already submitted your picks for the weekend, and you picked the Saints minus five, but they took that bet off the board. So I was like, yeah, we can't use that one in our picks this week. And then it went up to 15. So if it was real life, you would have got that pick easy money. So, mm-hmm. all right, let's jump in. Uh, first of all, our guest picker this week, I'll just give their picks up real quick. They have the Ravens, um, excuse me. They have the Raiders minus seven and a half. They have the Saints minus three. The Chiefs minus 13 and a half. The Patriots has their upset and the Colts minus three as their lock. So, Malcolm, who do you like this week? Let's just start with the three regular picks. Who do you have like this week? It's pretty close. Um, I got the Browns plus five. You love the Browns this year, and they've, that's been one of the teams that every, I feel like every time you bet on them, they've either covered or they've come yeah. very close. They yeah. haven't really like put up an egg yet. I got a good gauge on them, and they've yeah. stayed healthy all year. There's nobody Correct. that's really going down. Oh, well, other than OBJ, but he wasn't well, really. I mean, like, corona-wise. Yeah, oh, every that, week they're all in the field. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, if right, Cleveland's like, fuck that, nobody tests positive. Dog. We haven't had a winning season in 100 years or whatever. <laughs> so, you know, what's crazy is I actually remember the last time they made the playoffs. It was early 2000s. I don't remember the exact year, but Derek Anderson was their fucking quarterback. Who, <laughs> it's nuts. Anderson. Well, it's nuts because even when they had a good quarterback, he was a bad quarterback. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. they legitimately have never had a good quarterback on their team since, I don't know. I can't, I, I don't even know who the fuck Brown's quarterbacks. There's that famous picture where it's like the back of the jersey. The one who started all it all was Tim Couch. He was he's couch, like the, baby. Uh, number he's one like the pick. genesis of shitty quarterbacks. Yep. He was the, 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 the great hope, you know, the great white hope for them. Um, <laughs> who are your other two picks? All right. I got, the, I got the uh, Colts. I think it, I can't read my own writing. I don't know if it's plus three or minus three. It's minus three. Yeah. It's minus three. three. Okay. I, I like broke two this I, week. Dude, I broke these headphones. I broke, I've lost my AirPods. I broke the pen trying to fix and fuck with one of the headphones. It's just, it's all fucked up. It's all hey, real quick, real quick before we move on, just because this is what I was referencing. Uh, someone bought a Tim Couch jersey all those years ago, and they've added every name of the quarterback that's played for the Browns. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I remember <laughs> seeing that. <laughs> so let's go over it. Tim Couch, Ty Detmer. I don't even know who Wynn is. I don't know who Peterson is. I think Doug, that's Doug Peterson, who's now the coach of the Eagles. Kelly Holcomb, one of the McCown brothers, Jeff Garcia, Trent Dilfer. Jeff Garcia is probably Pry. the best one on that whole list. So far, yeah. Uh, Ken Dorsey, who is at Miami Hurricanes fame. Bruce, Bruce Gradkowski, who was the Bucks quarterback for a little while, and then Derek Anderson, that's the one that made the, the playoffs. They made the playoffs that year. Yeah. Brady Quinn, Jake Delhomme, Seneca Wallace, Colt McCoy. Jake Delhomme, he, and he left and went to a Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that might have been that might have been after he went to the Super oh, Bowl. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure there was a time where Anderson was the quarterback of the Panthers and Delhomme was the, the quarterback of the Browns. Like they switched places basically. What is that when the Panthers quarterbacks go to a Super Bowl? They just fall off the that's, fuck yeah, fall off the just terrible. Uh, I don't know who Lewis is. That's pretty recent, too, and I don't know who that is. Uh, Brandon Hoyer and uh, Brandon Whedon. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Brian, Brian Hoyer, Brandon Hoyer. Brandon Whedon, and then Jason <laughs> Campbell. Fucked up. So, yeah. 
all these bad quarterbacks. This doesn't even include Manziel. So this list actually goes longer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Ooh. All right. So you have Colts minus three. Who? What's your other pick this week? I got Packers minus eight and a half. Okay. I forget who they're playing, but I like the, the, Eagles. the way it looked. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're playing the Eagles who have not looked good. Um, but even though they're three, seven, and one, they're only one game out of the playoffs. And I think I picked a pass last week and I got fucked on that game. They scored like a late touchdown or, or some shit yeah. happened. They won, but didn't cover. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, I got... from, well, hold on. Let me get my three picks in here. I also have the Colts minus three. Uh, I like them a lot this week. I think they bounced back after a disappointing game last week. I like the Cardinals plus three against the Rams. I think the Cardinals are a little bit better than they've showed as of late. And I think that Kyler Murray was a little banged up, and I think he's starting to get healthy again. So I think that'll be a big bounce back. And then I have the Seahawks minus 11. I don't even know who they fucking play, but to be minus 11, they must have a – they must be playing somebody dog shit. I wrote this down a little bit ago, so let me see who they're playing this week. They are playing the Giants. Oh, yeah, the Giants without a quarterback because Daniel Jones is hurt. So Colt McCoy is the quarterback for the Giants, so I like the Seahawks minus 11 there. See, who do you I, have as I your upset? I would have took that game too, but I didn't know the stat. If it was Daniel Jones, I wouldn't have. I don't. I didn't like. Correct. It. Yeah, I actually like the Giants. I think the Giants are actually a pretty good team. Uh, they have a pretty good defense. Uh, they don't really have a running game, and they don't have a quarterback right now, so that's a little tough. But I do think they're a li- they're probably the best team in the NFC East, either them or Washington. And I also was thinking so. about the the Saints Falcons because I think that interim coach is actually doing decent. Isn't he is. Like yeah, Raheem Morris. He, Raheem Morris actually used to be the coach of the Bucks uh, a few years back, and he's a pretty good coach. He just um, he's a defensive minded guy. And the Falcons have looked better. They're actually still in playoff contention. They're four and seven, but still have an outside shot at the playoffs if they win so out. So are the Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're leading the division. No, they're not. They're, I, was just, I was just saying the Eagles are a game out. The uh, the the Washington. <laughs> I almost said it again. That Washington division is atrocious. Yeah. So the Giants and Washington are both four and seven. Philly is three seven and one, and Dallas is three and eight. So Dallas I, is three and eight, and they're one game out of the playoffs right now. I almost feel like a playoff game. A thousand Hosting bucks a on like game. Dallas or somebody to win the Super Bowl just because it's twenty twenty and just fuck yeah, it. Why even, not, though, right? even though it'll be played in twenty twenty one, fuck it. Let's just do that. <laughs> well, I mean, not only are they in line, as I was just saying, they're not only are they in line to be in the playoffs. They'll host a playoff game if they win the division. They'll be the home team against like the Bucks or somebody. Like it's bananas. All right, uh, who do you have as your upset this week, Malcolm? I got the Pats as the upset. Uh, I like that game. I mean, no. I don't know. The, Herbert is good, but he's he just can't seem to get it. I mean, it's his first year. He can't seem to get it over yeah. the edge. And I feel like Kyler Murray was having that same kind of year last year, and yeah. he seems to kind of corrected it a little bit this year. Um, and then my lock is the Chiefs at minus 13 and a half. I like okay, so no surprise here. B- both me, you, and the guest have the Patriots as the upset this week. So that means they're definitely going to lose. But uh, all three of us have the Patriots. Uh, I-, I agree with the same thing. I mean, I don't, I don't blame. I mean, <laughs> Cam Newton had 80 passing yards. I don't blame them being the underdog. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I agree. Um, I think because the simply because the Chargers are the, the home team or whatever, you give them the three points. Um, they're a one-and-a-half-point favorite right now, so – I don't know. I, I like think Belichick that, against a young quarterback. So. Yeah, I I just think that the defense is playing, the Patriots defense is playing pretty good, and they, they, if they stick to the scheme and just run the fuck out of the ball, they're yeah. a good team. They just yep. Cam just don't got it, man. He just don't. He's he's lost that. He just arm like he strength. Don't know the fuck, dude. You know he just doesn't. It's just not. I think he's getting frustrated because just it's just not there no more. He can't just rear back and throw it no, anymore. You know what I mean? Like his shoulders just fucked. And, and even when he was, not really there either. He might even no. be a little hesitant because he's just been popped so many times. And I think, and I think that is, I think he's a little punch drunk from all the hits. But he's still done enough to win them games. Um, even though last week the reason they won was a bullshit penalty, but he hasn't. He's he but hasn't like my team like that. Okay. Yeah. Well, he hasn't had that implosion yet, where it's like, oh, Cam just cost them that game. You know what I mean? Like he's been yeah. so horrible. Like so. I, <laughs> I don't think Which that that's gonna a crazy thing to say when you know. have yards basically like I know. I mean, they won, but yeah, and like know. I said, they just, they just keep running the shit out of the ball. I think they could beat the Chargers. Chargers defense is not that great. Um, well, we'll see this week because if Cam is real bad again this week, it might be time to to switch it up. Yeah, you know, well, stiff it might man. be time. Yeah, to to, to big <laughs> stid. Yeah. So, all right, uh, and then you said your lock was the the Chiefs minus thirteen. The Chiefs and a half. minus thirteen. The Broncos are terrible. Yep. The whole city's giving up on him. It's just hilarious to watch him hear him talk about it. <laughs> Drew Locke's out, dude. They're like, fire the LA, fire, fire ownership, fire everyone, dude. Everyone needs to go. And, and it makes no sense because, bro, for one, the Broncos have been one of the more consistent organizations in all of football. But the other thing is, like, they haven't had a – I think has there been a game more than, what, one or two games this year where they've had 
their whole team. <laughs> it's either been Locke's been out or you know, they lost Sutton the first game before the first game. This Gordon season. got a DUI. Fans at, yeah, Gordon's out. Lindsay's hurt again. It's just they're unhealthy. They, they, Vaughn Miller was out for the year before the season started. So Drew Locke ain't they the have answer, the, though. He's not the answer. Uh, dude. We've talked about that. I think he he has some ability. Uh, you know, if you get a, if they get a high spot in the draft, they should absolutely take you I know just Kyle Trask. Age or Justin where they Fields. just throw him to the wolves. It's like you know in that first season, dude. They're either gonna do it or they're not. I mean, he's pretty to, like, good. Let him give him a couple years, dude. Yeah. Like, well, they were in a situation where they didn't have anybody else to even throw out there. It's just you know that I mean? it's that instant gratification, you know, generation. They're just like, no, nope, change it, fuck him. No, that's not what it is though, because they've had guys. They still have guys that sit. I mean, it just it just depends on like Jalen Hurts. Yeah, and usually they do okay. <laughs> Yeah, because that most of the time when you're in the position to take a quarterback that high in the draft, you suck. So it's like, why not? You know what I mean? So yeah. Drew Locke wasn't like a top pick. He was a guy that they they took a chance on. You know what I mean? So, uh, all right. So you have the Chiefs as uh, at minus thirteen and a half as your lock. Our guest has Colts minus three as a lock. So all three of us have Colts minus three. All three of us has the, have the uh, Patriots upsetting the uh, Chargers, and my lock is Raiders minus seven and a half. Um, I don't know if last week was the real Raiders. They looked terrible against the Falcons. Yeah, they lost forty to six. Yeah, I know they, they got shellacked. Yeah, so I don't know if that was the real team or if that was the outlier where they had one bad week. But we're gonna find out. They play the Jets and they're only seven and a half point favorites. That's kind of crazy, but we'll see. Even... This could be the week for the Jets, dude. Yeah, something. it could be. It could be. My buddy keeps betting on them every week because he's like, they're not going to go 0 and 16, but we'll see. I don't know, dude. Uh, they look, they're pretty fucking terrible. <laughs> it's also the coaching. Adam Gase is just horrible. So uh, let's run over it real quick. Flacco's I got a cancer, dude. He can't, he's not allowed on a team. He's not even the quarterback anymore. It's it Darnold's doesn't back. matter, dude. If he's in the building, it's too much. He's won a Super Bowl. What are you talking about? Anyways, yeah, Colts minus up. three, Colts <laughs> minus three, Cardinals plus three, Seahawks minus 11. Patriots has the underdog. Raiders minus seven and a half is my lock. Malcolm has Browns plus five. Colts minus three. Packers minus eight and a half. Patriots is the underdog. Chiefs minus 13 and a half. Our guest has Chiefs minus 13 and a half. Saints minus three. Raiders minus seven and a half. Patriots has the underdog. Colts minus three. So take that to the bank, and we will see you Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, something like that. We'll be back soon. Probably. So thank you guys for tuning in. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at scam underscore podcast. If you're listening to the audio only, follow us on YouTube, two words, scam podcast. Follow us there and subscribe to the channel. We might, we really do appreciate all the love, support, the downloads, sharing, liking, all that stuff. But uh, we need, uh, you know, some so a better following on Twitter would help a lot to, so you know when the episodes come out. So this help us out with that. Twitter, dude. Got to get the need Twitter. It. We need it, man. We've had a few people. We've had a few people already, you know, hey, I'm listening to the episode. I'm following because you said to. So we need that, man. We need that. Keep on following. And uh, But what if, like, some of our listeners don't have a Twitter and then you're just like, hey, go check out this dumpster. Fuck it. Download it. Twitter Download too. it, dude. Yeah, yeah. Join us in the fucking mayhem. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, follow in the mayhem. despair with <laughs> us. Exactly. So. Uh, all right, so we'll be back next week. Um, and let us know who you like this week in the comments. Let us know what your lock of the week is, and we'll go from there. And we'll see you uh, Monday? Yeah, Monday. sure. Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday.